see. How nice that bait shows up on the structure scan. Yeah. Bluefish came up and got that. You always tell when there's predators in the area because you get these really tight schools. Look how fast that school broke up. Something came through there. Wow, no, it's here. I could actually see how the bait got together and moved <laughs> around that bluefish. Massive, massive school of bunker here. Beautiful. Making bait, baby, making bait. Making bait. Bait on both sides. Yeah, you're right on top of them. You cast it. We got 14 feet. We're just drifting along. It's all bunker here. Bunker underneath us in the foreground. Right under us, Tom. The wind is pushing us along, so... Right now, the motor is running, and it's scaring the bait. And as we drift, we're just corralling the bait. Real windy, real nasty. Real fishy. That structure scan wreck right there. That's the Evo 2. MSS Evo 2. See it right here. That's incredible. Again, I'll make a waypoint because we want to fish on these wrecks. I'm going to hit mark on the stern, put another one on the bow, and mark on the bow. Now, when we go to our chart, still not seeing bait yet. There are those two spots we just went over. It's 282 feet from us. We can go fish right between those two marks if we want to. Great stuff. It's another boat wreck right here. Look at that, you can clearly see the bow and the stern. I'm gonna go ahead and make my marks. One on the stern, hit mark. Okay, one on the bow, hit mark. Excellent. Look at that, there's a piece of dock. Look at that, Tommy, there's a piece of dock or something. Oh, yeah, and yeah. another wreck. Yeah. And another wreck. I think we should fish right here. What do you think, boys? Right, Look yeah. at that. That's something else. All right, we're chumming here, and this is what striped bass look like when they're sitting in a chum slick. They're sitting long worms on the bottom. This is Eric dropping chum down, it's sinking. You can see how they look like long worms because they're just continually being marked by the machine. And showing the history over and over again that's why it looks so long but that's the difference between a striped bass that's sitting there or versus a small bluefish or bait fish these are small bait fish up here that's probably a striped bass or a big bluefish i want to take a minute here and show you here on the screen the difference this is all bunker right here and this is all spearing we can actually we have our lights out right now we can see the spearing and the lights all up in here eight nine feet down five feet down all the way on the bottom here it's all bunker it's all manhaden some people call spearing silver sides as they are up here and on the left and right you can see the same thing the spearing up here a little closer to the boat higher in the water column a little lower in the water column is the bunker okay we're anchored up not moving in the structure scan these are what bass look like here what gives them away really quickly are the shadows there you go another double arch double arch usually strike bass Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right there. You got it? Yep. That's a bad. 
Yeah, that's a big bag. Is there any back too? Right towards the boat, line it, right. Nice. Put the clicker back on. I want to hear if he's taking it because I can't see. You hear him smoking that drag? Yeah, he's a hoss. I can see him rolling out there. He's he's probably 60 yards out. Yeah, he's rolling right across to the front. Get him back here. If you can get him to turn, fine. If you need to run up front, run up front. But don't do that horse. Get him up front, buddy. Run up front. Just crank the whole way you're going. Just only hit the bottom of the boat. That's all you got to worry about. Stay right there. That's all. If you, need, if you need to put the rod tip in the water to keep from hitting the boat, that's fine. The bottom of the boat can have sharp spots on it. Yep. Good job, good job. You're doing fine. Head first. Take your time. Take your time. Back your drag off just a touch, Eric. Just a very little bit. Always close to the boat. Back it off a little. That's a 40 pound fish. That's 40 pounds. That's a 40 pounder. 40 pounder in the net! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's old school. That's Brother, old that's school. a chode. That is a chode and a half. <laughs> nice. Ho <laughs> oh ho! Awesome. Beautiful. We put our time in for this one. That's a beautiful fish. Woo! Good job, Eric. We're out here trying to catch these pre-spawn fish. We're out here all, all day, basically. Just got the chum and the bait, and they came into the lights. And we chased it around for a while. Good job, Eric. Good job, Eric. Oh, cool. Everyone's in here throwing cast nets. And they pushed all the bait down. All the bait went down. It's really hard to net. Bait's near the bottom. Right now, our structure scan is finding all that bait. We started snagging in here, and then everyone came over here because they saw us snagging. Structure scan does it. Does it again. Max trying to get the bait. <laughs> yep, see? That's all right. We have enough electronics for everybody. We'll find a bait for everybody, right? That's right. We we'll, share. Sh we'll share. <laughs> there it all is. Get structure scan. Simrad, structure scan. Get it. Seven, forty, forty-seven pounds.